Happy birthday, Virgos! Welcome to Valkyrie Tarot. We are going to be doing um, your love reading for the second half of September 2019. So this is roughly around September 15th to the 30th. Um, if you didn't get a chance to, I just did some element readings for the Harvest Moon, which just happened a couple days ago. So you might be able to get a little bit more insight um, from that reading as well if you are interested. All right. Here we go, Virgo. Let's get started, all right? So as usual, I'm gonna use the, uh, the Gilded Tarot as our primary deck. We're gonna use the Egyptian Tarot for some confirmation cards, and then we'll do the Ask and Know Oracle for two extra messages from the universe as they decide we may need to learn more. Um, as usual, I've pre-shuffled everything and I've charged the table, as you can see, um, both with my um, Tibetan singing bowl and some white sage. I don't know if you guys are into um, cleansing areas with sage, but white sage has become my favorite. It just has this smell that's just so <laughs> spiritual would be the best way to say it, but it's so clean, I guess, is, is what I'm trying to say. So, all right. As always, with our readings, so this is a love reading, we are going to have you and your significant other represented here. So I'm going to make a little bit of space here. Um, you are going to be on the left side, or my left, <laughs> um, and they will be represented on the right side, all right? So let's see what the world has to offer us. There we go. We had the Hierophant and the Three of Cups jump. Okay, so that might be important to some of you. We also had the Ten of Wands and Justice inverted pop as well. Love reading for Virgo, second half of September 2019. Grannis answers to that which we seek to find. Grannis answers to that which we lay at mind. All right. Here we go. All right. First card is going to represent you, your current energy. We have the King of Wands. All right. So passion. You are driven to um, move forward in whatever this is. This could be a new job as well, even though this is more of a love reading. Um, but the, uh, the King of Wands knows what he wants and he doesn't back off from it. Very focused, very passionate. Um, he can sometimes have a hot temper, obviously, since it's a fire sign. But again, uh, in general, this represents you right now. Okay, Virgo? King of, uh, King of Wands is also usually Aries, if that represents anyone. But right now, it's you in the meeting. All right. Next card, this is going to be their energy right now. Your loved ones, King of Swords. All right, so we have two partners. We have two friends here, two kings. A um, lot of leadership, a lot of control. However, um, two very stubborn cards. So the, the King of Swords is usually Gemini, um, but the King of Swords is usually someone also in government or law. They are very clear and concise on what they need to do. They don't let emotions influence them, whereas the King of Wands is someone who is a little bit more emotional. They, they feed into their passions a little bit. When we have two kings together, though, that usually is um, a sign of stability and leadership moving forward, but it can also be a sign of stubbornness between the two of you. Um, it could be that the two of you are not seeing eye to eye on something. All right, let's see what the rest of this, this deck says here. All right, so this next card is the current energy between the two of you. Knight of Pentacles. So, um, Knight of Pentacles is actually one of the better cards for the Knights. Um, this is a slow-moving card, though, but this is an offer of stability and an, a promise of stability. It will get there, but it's going to take a while, okay? So you got to be patient when it comes to this. And King of Wands, my, my dear Virgo, you are not a, uh, a big fan of being patient if you're the King of Wands right now because they are passionate. They want quick, fast movement. Same with uh, the King of Swords, actually. Very swift movements. Next card. This is what's currently blocking or slowing the process of this King of pa uh, this Knight of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. All right. So we're looking at monetary issues here. Maybe finances. Maybe this is not necessarily a relationship, um, romantic relationship. Maybe this is a work relationship. Six of Pentacles is sharing the wealth. 
it's knowing that you are sta stable enough where you are that you um, are able to give to those around you. So perhaps this promise of the Knight of Pentacles is to your partner over here. Uh, again, does not have to be same sex. These are just energy cards. So um, if you're two guys, more power at you. Um, but if you're two women or a man, male, female, that's totally fine as well. It just represents the, um, the masculine energy behind it. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. It's the yin and yang that can, um, gives us our balance within us. So that's just, that's a totally different video, but, uh, just wanted to explain that. Perhaps this Knight of Pentacles is a promise of, yes, um, I am going to be there for you. I am going to be stable for you, but we need to work towards that. We need to work together. Um, and what's blocking you right now is perhaps the concept of, do you have the stability that you need? Do you have the balance that you need now to be able to move forward? All right, this next card is the core problem that's causing the blockage. <laughs> it's the sun. Uh, it came out inverted, but I never invert the sun because no matter what way you look at it, this is a positive card. Um, so what's blocking you is ultimate happiness. Interesting. Um, perhaps you guys are afraid to be happy, Virgo. Um, Huh. We'll get some clarification on that. But so far, this looks like a very positive reading. Um, this next card is going to be a past experience or energy that's currently influencing you. Okay? The star. It's inverted. So the star means healing, which means that you have not taken time to heal yet. So you are still healing over something from your past. Um, but just because it's inverted doesn't mean that you're not going to heal. It just means that something is blocking it. We'll get a confirmation on that moving forward. And this one right here, this, so this is a past experience um, that is currently affecting your partner. Three of Pentacles, working together. Lots of finance. This might not be a romantic relationship, like I said. This might be um, like work-related just because of all of these things. But, however, if anybody has ever been in a relationship or has ever been married... It's work. Am I right? Okay. So this is working together. So past influence is working together. So your partner is more of a logical sign trying to explain to you who's more passionate and more let's go do this. Um, perhaps you're afraid of being hurt again or you haven't completely healed from a past situation. They want to work with you to help you move forward. They have made this offer of stability you have to realize that you are able to work together and move forward because the sun card is here. Ultimate happiness is here for you. All right. These next two cards are going to be the outcome. Okay. Eight of Pentacles, working hard. So that totally ties into the three of Pentacles of working together. Okay. Um, this is going to weigh more on your side. I always do two cards. So kind of two outcomes, one for you, one for the other person. Um, take it as you wish. But continuing to... Uh, you know, burn the midnight oil, make sure that you're putting your effort, putting the work into this relationship, whatever it may entail. And the next one is the 10 of swords inverted. So this is a positive card. Um, this way it can kind of be a little mm, irritating, um, scary. 10 is the end of the cycle, but when we are inverted, it means that the healing has, has kind of happened. You know what I mean? Um, whatever the pain that was being caused is it's all in your head it's it's gone it's going away it's the the knives are not stabbing this person in the back um now if you don't deal with things properly you could still feel this pain it's still there it can still flip the other way so again we are going to get some confirmation cards on this but it seems like you're on the right path if you work together and move forward and stay focused on uh, ultimate goal together, you'll see success here. All right, let's get some confirmation. All right, can I get a confirmation card on why are you the king of wands? Why is Virgo the king of wands here? Got two cards here popped out. Oops, sorry, three cards. All right, five of swords. So there must have been a conflict at some point, disappointment, um, kind of feeling defeated at some point the next one is the strength card inverted so yeah definitely feeling defeated and the eight of wands so the eight of wands is messages actually so they you have communicated that you have felt defeated in the past that you feel weak um, again that's the star card too 
Um, you haven't healed yet from whatever this is, but you've communicated it clearly to your partner over here. All right, I just wanted one card, but <laughs> tell me why your partner is the King of Swords. One card. Tell me more about this King of Swords. King of Swords. King of Swords. Two cards. So we have the Page of Swords upside down. So there might have been some um, kind of hurtful words said behind the back. Um, the Page of Swords is a student, but um, he also can kind of be a drama queen and he can start rumors. So there might have been some rumors here. Um, and the Nine of Wands is carrying a load, kind of revving up for the final, final showdown. So something has happened here, um, or perhaps he said something that might have hurt your feelings over here. Kind of made you feel betrayed. All right, tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. Explain this Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is the Ten of Wands inverted. All right, so Ten of Wands is your suffering is over with. You've gone the long haul, but it's inverted. So um, this could mean that you've gone through it. You you no longer are suffering. You no longer feel like you need to carry the burden which is why, uh, you know, you have that offer of that Knight of Pentacles coming forward. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. Oh, two cards popped. All right. Three of Cups and then the Three of Pentacles inverted. So it's interesting because we had the Three of Pentacles up here as a past thing. So perhaps with multiple threes here, Three of Cups is usually friendship, going out, reunions, um, could mean third party. With all of these threes here, I wouldn't be surprised if there was another option, and perhaps that's why the King of Wands is healing from this. And that's why your Six of Pentacles here is blocking this Knight from moving forward, is because you want to work together. The Knight of Swords wants to work together, but, um, Something in that past, whatever this was working together or this third party, is blocking your trust in them to be able to um, split the wealth, to be able to move forward together um, and share the journey. Um, again, Three of Cups could be a positive card, uh, but with this many threes, it could definitely be a, a third party uh, might have had an influence in this. So you have the Sun card down here. Really positive card, which means that, you know, this, if you choose to work through this together, there is a positive outcome for both of you um, together. Got one card for the sun. It's two cards, but we'll take them. So we have the devil and the five of pentacles. All right. The de <laughs> Interesting. All right. So the devil, not always a bad thing, can represent Capricorn. Just kind of means being connected to something or bonded to someone. It can mean procrastination if we're talking more like work. Um, five of Pentacles can mean being left out of the cold, but it can also mean trying to look for other opportunities. So what I'm seeing here is that this connection between the two of you might not be all that negative because the Sun card is trumping all of this. Let me get another, can I get an explanation about the devil? What's this devil card here? Six of wands inverted. So not having your champion moment. But this is an ego card. Um, so when it's upright, it's, it's your ego, like looking forward to like the big future and being so excited and so happy. Um, kind of not paying attention to any of the negativity around you. What about this five? What's this five? Five of pentacles, ten of cups. All right. Well, that answers that. Okay. Um, so it's basically telling you that you are connected to this person. Um, so your ego is not part of this. Your ego is no longer an issue with this relationship. Um, if you can, let, if it is, and you can let your ego go, King of Wands, King of Swords, then you will move forward. Um, you will not feel like you're left out in the cold. You will have ultimate happiness. That is what the Ten of Cups is. Ultimate emotional fulfillment and happiness. And then you got the sun card. I mean, the sun is 
is everything you could dream of. All right. Uh, what's this past star moment? Tell me about this star moment. What do you have to heal from still? What do you have to heal from? Heartbreak. Yep. So you got you got your heart broken at some point. Um, so you just gotta let yourself heal from that. What's this three of pentacles? You got a lot of threes in this reading. I'm betting there was another person involved. Maybe they chose someone else over you. Oh, so many. And they fell. But I'm gonna take them because they fell upright, so I can see them. All right, so you're three of pentacles, and this is going to confirm what I was saying. Five of cups, disappointment in love. Because of a tower moment, something happened. Something big happened. I'm going to assume, yes, there was a third party. Yes, they chose them over you. You got your heart broken. You felt disappointed. You felt weak about it. You communicated it all the way over here to Mr. King of Swords, who was basically like, uh, I mean, he said something. He said something about how, like, maybe I didn't care about you as much as I thought I did, or maybe it's like a constant argument. Maybe you feel more about this relationship than this person does because they feel kind of burdened down by it. But there is stability here. The two of you can be very happy together. You just got to move past your shit. Uh, you almost got to forgive them. Let's see, what's this Eight of Pentacles? This is like working together, working, focusing on the end goal. Oh, we flipped. Seven of Cups reversed. All right, so a choice has to be made and you have made it. You, have, you will choose to stay with this person um, and try and work through this because there is happiness here. God, these cups are falling. Oh, all right. Oh, we got two. Oh, there we go. See? And if you choose, you've made that choice. There is the moon, so secrets will be revealed. And Mr. Knight of Swords here, you are now inverted, which means that you are going to um, kind of, maybe you're going to say what you have to say. It might be hurtful. Let's be honest. All of the swords kind of speak the truth, and sometimes we don't like hearing the truth. But when I see this inverted kind of on the same side as the other one, that means that the King of Swords is kind of going to level out. They're going to let this person have their moment, get over their heartbreak, and the offer is going to be there, you know? The offer is definitely going to be there. Something will be revealed by this moon. What's going to be revealed by the moon? What's revealed by the moon? What's revealed? <laughs> Ten of Swords. <laughs> So that matches that. So the Ten of Swords is going to explain why that pain was there, what you've had to move forward from. So there might have been a secret here. Something might have happened that was hidden from you, which is why you felt defeated with that Five of Swords. Oh. You are going to hear what you need to hear. You will no longer feel the mental anguish about the situation. And Ten of Pentacles, you will have ultimate stability, happiness, and fulfillment. All right, Virgo, what a great birthday gift for you. I hope this all turns out positive for you. Let's get two more cards from the Oracle. Let's ask the universe. Can I get two cards for messages to Virgo here? We are at 20 minutes almost. Whew, this is a long reading, but it was a good one. The why card. All right, why? Um, I always look at this as finding your why. I don't know if you've ever seen that TED Talk about when you move forward and you know what your why is you will always, always succeed. All right, and your other card is the fork in the road. So you have choices to make for sure. Um, you gotta understand, you gotta think about why you want this relationship, why you wanna be with this person. But the truth is, if you choose to stay with this person, sorry, you can't really see those guys, can you? If you choose to stay with this person, you will have ultimate happiness for sure. Once everything is revealed, but Mr. King of Swords has to talk about it, has to get it all out in the open. There has to be open communication so that you, Mr. King of Wands, can make a clear decision um, moving forward so you can heal from this broken heart. All right. If this resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, again, 
Any information about the decks that I'm using will be down in the description box. I also do offer private readings, so if you're interested, there's information in the, the box below on how you can uh, contact me for a private reading. Other than that, I look forward to seeing you at the beginning of October, and uh, hopefully this resonates with you. Happy birthday, Virgo. Deuces.